All right, guys, here I'm working on my 2011 uh, 328i. It's an E92 um, 2011. Um, so I basically just got to replace that roundel that you see right there. Uh, so here is the one I'm going to be replacing it with. Here's the part number. You'd want to double check on your model and year. Um, just to make sure that yours fits because it looks like this one here is actually only applicable to this model. So just double check which one fits your car. So basically there's a couple ways to do this, but basically this roundel is stuck on there. I'm going to try to get you guys a decent camera angle. So if you try to pry it off, basically there's glue that's kind of sticking it uh, to the car. So this whole rounded area here is basically a sticker. And then you have a couple of grommets for alignment here that stick into the car. So... Uh, a couple ways to do this, so you could use a screwdriver and try to pry it off with a towel behind it. Obviously, you don't want to scratch the paint to your car. Um, and the other way to do it is to kind of just use some sort of uh, cordage. So this is just a kind of like ribbon from like, you know, for like a, a birthday balloon or something like that. And kind of just snaking it behind the roundel. So let me give you guys a better look at that. So yeah, so just like this, essentially just stretch it. Uh, and put some tension on it and then kind of just slide it back and forth until you get behind the logo and now we're just going to we can just kind of keep on pulling this off while also snaking it back and forth all right so basically what i did was i first started kind of flossing my my way back and forth from the top you just slip it behind and like i said you keep flossing it back and forth behind the roundel to keep on breaking the bondage of the glue from from the roundel to the car and then i did it on the other side because you're gonna have two grommets on either side you're not gonna be able to bypass those with this cordage so basically just start at the bottom sorry start at the top and then go all the way down until you hit the grommets and then do the same thing from the bottom go up all the way until you hit the grommets and then this should be fairly loose all right, and once you feel pretty comfortable that you broke away all of the glue behind the uh, roundel, I actually stuck uh, a couple of zip ties. So I snaked one uh, on the left side until it hits the top and then one on the right side also until it goes through the top. And then I zip tied another zip tie to that so I can kind of create like a handle and basically pull the roundel off the car. And then once I did, and trust me, this took a bit of effort, you can pull it off the car. So you have these two rubber grommets. This one actually is still on the roundel, so I can just take it off here and stick it back into the car. But before I do that, I just want to clean this surface here. All right, now with that old roundel cleaned off, I think that's clean enough, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the new one. You really can't screw this up unless you want it upside down. Um, just those two posts into the rubber grommets. Alright, and now just make sure you have a good push on there. That's my trunk opening, sorry about that. Um, make sure you give it a good push, and once you do, you have a brand new roundel on your BMW. That's all it took. So, here was the old one, and here's the new one. So, hopefully that, got, that helps you out, guys. Uh, thank you for watching.